So our model of leadership is quite often the leader that has has led us in different environments. And I've I've had the opportunity to work and lead in a variety of organizations and sectors through my career. And I've had some really phenomenal leaders who I aspire to be. They were my they were my coaches. They were my mentors. They were phenomenal uh, to work with. And then I've had leaders who I'm like, oh my gosh, I I would never want to adopt that type of behavior. And and you know you work against that as a as an emerging as an emerging leader. So I think the implications for leadership are how how we have led in the past. We need to do a little self reflection as leaders to say. That, not, that isn't necessarily how we need to lead in the future. And that um, when we look at the human skills that we've talked about, those are core elements of leaders of the future. And I, don't, I, think, I think there's programs certainly that support the development, the development of that. But I think what really supports that is the mentoring of that and ensuring that the leaders that we get to lead um, it's a bit different if you're an emerging leader and this is your first step into it. But I think as leaders, as we lead other people, it's really our responsibility to lead them into the future with these new skills being core to how we lead in the future. Um, and like I said earlier, what we're seeing now is that this is resulting in greater engagement of your employees, the retention of your employees, I would argue re, uh, attraction of your of your new employees because they want to be part of what's being created and then obviously the productivity. So I think that the big implications for leadership is, is really looking at leadership very differently than how we've looked at in the past and then designing the leadership development of your organization that works, works for you with a core focus on these, on these essential human skills that we talk about.